Strength training for the over 50s, is it a good idea? Well, as we get older, our muscles lose strength and power, and they lose it up to eight times faster than they lose muscle mass. In other words, we get weaker, but we don't look weaker. We often think aerobic type exercise like walking, cycling or swimming is going to be better than resistance training, uh, like weightlifting or band exercises. But resistance exercises have been shown to reduce cancer, cardiovascular disease, hypertension and symptoms of anxiety and depression. You can get fit without a gym. Strength training doesn't need to involve expensive gym memberships and lifting huge weights. There are alternatives you can use at home, such as dumbbells, resistance bands, or body weight resistance training, like press-ups, for instance. Our physiotherapists and chiropractors can advise you on the best routines to help with your back, neck, and knees, and also um, can av advise on the safe ways to do it. Strength training can also build bone density as well as muscle. A 10 to 15 minute routine twice a week can offer great benefits. The key is to keep up with the program. It's consistency that really brings those long-term benefits. A personalized strength training program is key to prevent injuries and improve quality of life in the longer term. With increasing prevalence of remote working and desk-based jobs, strength training has never been more important in preventing common aches and pains such as shoulder, neck and lower back pain. Of course, this concept applies to people whose jobs are not desk-based as well. And strength training can be a lot of fun. It really depends on the structure of the program. So what are the other benefits of strength training? Men and women of all ages will notice the difference in health, but actually it becomes more important the older we get. Here are a few reasons to consider why you should do some uh, daily strength training. The effects of osteoporosis on the quality of life are far reaching and weight training and load bearing uh, exercises stimulate bone growth and are therefore highly recommended for bone health. Muscle mass. We all know that modern sedentary lifestyles affect muscle mass and strength. And as we enter our 30s and especially 40s, we naturally start to lose muscle anyway. The older we get, the more we need to pay attention to our muscles and they give us stability as well as strength. And toned muscles make us look better. They also burn more calories and um, that's a, a good uh, thing for weight control too. In men, weight training raises testosterone levels and as testosterone tends to decline as we get a bit older, uh, men can uh, seem to hit the male menopause at around 40 or 50, leading to weight gain, low mood and other changes. Weight or strength training boosts testosterone significantly and many other benefits of regular strength training routine include improvements to memory and cognition and reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Young and old alike can enhance their health with a little persistence and all in the comfort of your own home. And remember, if you need expert advice, book in for an appointment with one of our physios or chiropractors here at Sundial. We'd be happy to help.